I can't Ooh. help you until you find some solid evidence. Can I? No, I can't do that. This is where like a help thing, right? How can I compare evidence? Solid evidence. Ooh, maybe I can give you that. That. No. 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 Ah, oh, right. Okay. Uh, fits the coroner's description of the ligature that caused the bruising on Callie's neck. Yeah, thought so. Nothing useful on the bank note. Okay, so let's go to Jenny Strickland's apartment. Ms. Strickland? Jenny Strickland? Yes. Gil Grissom, Las Vegas Crime Lab. My assistant and I would like to ask you a few questions. Go ahead. Yes. Ms. Strickland, a young woman who was killed tonight. Apparently she filled out the hotel's check-in card using your name and address. What? Mine? That's right. We believe her first name was Kylie. Do you know anyone by that name? Sorry, I don't know any Kylies. Anyone could have got my name and address out of the phone book. Do you recognize this oh. bracelet? Oh my god. Is it That's a yes. Karen? It's not Karen who got killed, is it? Maybe we can answer your question, Miss Strickland, if you'll tell us <laughs> about Karen. My best friend when I was in middle school, Karen Yardstrom. We took all our Christmas money and bought matching bracelets, inscribed our initials on them. Oh, wow. I haven't heard from Karen in years. She isn't the one who... That's a strong possibility. Oh, how terrible. Awful. Oh, we ran in different cliques, you know, in high school. Hers was kind of a rougher crowd, but I never thought, hmm. never dreamed. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Grissom. I need to go back inside now. I hope I've been helpful. You have. I'm sorry to bring you such sad news, Miss Strickland. Right, okay. Let's talk to Brass in his office, get him to track down Karen Yardstrom's real address. Okay, right. So we find... Yes. Has the initials KY engraved on the side of it belong to the victim? Probably. Was engraved as a friendship gen gesture with Jenny Strickland. So. Oh, oh, right. So she called herself Kylie. Okay. Yeah. I was friends with Jenny Strickland as a child. The real name was Karen Yardstrom, and that was updated. Brilliant. So. Need me for something? Um. Can you search for Kylie Yardstrom's address? Sure. Seems she lived in the Hamilton apartments. I'll send a unit to open it up for you. Wherever that is. New location. What can you tell us about Kylie's past? Yeah, I looked into our Vic's brilliant showbiz career, which consisted of one chorus line gig with a production that shut down a couple of weeks ago. Right. That didn't give me any useful information. Could you... Hmm... I don't feel confident saying it's the... Well, interrogating the hotel owner yet. Still looking for him? Yes. Hampton? There isn't a manual in this game. Yeah. I don't want to get a hint and say, Oh, you have to get a hint to find out how to do something that should be obvious how to do. Enough evidence, enough DNA to compare. How does one compare? There isn't much DNA more I can tell you about the victim at this time. Okay. Right, so... It's gotta be the lab, then. But it's not the computer. What do you need? DNA! That's the only thing we've got for here. Yes. Let's. What do you want me to look at? This one. We might be able to find another DNA, enough DNA for capacitor. I know that. It's it's. 
but I can't click on him to talk to. That's annoying. Ooh, ooh. Oh. I thought, ooh, it's gone green. That means there's something there. No, no, it doesn't. So there's that. The computer, which only works for fingerprints and stuff. Right, so we'll go to the new... Looks apartment. like Kylie kept things simple at home. Neat, orderly, almost compulsive. Sometimes a control freak away from home cuts loose. Goes a little wild. Right. A Good prescription thing. for interferon. It's used in treatment of hep C infections. Dated right. yesterday. Kylie may have just found out about her condition. Alright, okay, so... Let's grab it. Hundreds of years, investigators have examined correspondence and address books for clues. Today, okay. that means checking out a victim's PC. Let's look at her calendar. Yes. Her last time scheduled time. meeting was at 10 p.m. with one Devin Rogers at our hotel. Possible suspect. Mm -hmm. We'll need to talk to Brass to find Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Yes, we will do. So, that's one person we've got to talk to. Still want to know how... Ooh. Hey, Kylie. It's your buddy Bert. Forget about me. Well, you ain't slipped my mind. Not when you owe me three bills for that TV you trashed. Ooh. Oh, that's of course you can think up another way to settle up. Hmm? You could do that. <laughs> Evil laugh. Seems our hotel manager knew Kylie better than he was letting on. Let's bring this information to Brass. Yes, I think we're going to be bringing him in. Receipts from different hotels, ordered chronologically. I'm not sure how we examine those, but we'll talk to Greg, maybe talk to um, Brass, whatever his name is. Anything down there? No, I think we've got almost everything from here, so... The standard draggy... Hey, guys. Kind. What's up? Right. Um... No. Documents. Sorry. Can't do anything with that. What about these receipts? They're just hotel receipts. Nothing special about them. Man, I hope she got air miles for all these. <laughs> right. So, let's actually read it. So, found on victim's computer scheduled to meet Devin Rogers at 10 p.m. Many receipts from various hotels, nothing special about the receipts, though. Medicine bottle. Analyze the meds inside, and just like the label says, it's interferon. Looks like the pharmacy did their job. I was able to Yay. lift some latent prints from it, too. They look like partials. Ooh. Okay, so... What does it say about this? I should probably read it. Prescription says it's interferon, used to treat um, hepatitis C. The, the prescription was recently filled. Drugs inside confirmed to be interferon. An incriminating message seemingly from the hotel owner. Can you tell us? It's a magnetic about that? chromium dioxide audio cassette tape. <laughs> Nothing special to tell you about it. Brilliant. So the obvious thing to do is check these prints. No results. Okay, so there's no matching from what they can see. There and ooh. Ah, you can't search if it's partial. I still want to know how this would have to do this. Hey, you can't scan that into the computer. Can't you code it? So I can. Yeah. Right. So, location. Need me for something? I don't know enough about him. I'm going to bring in the hotel owner. Could you bring? Can you bring in the hotel owner? Look, we questioned him at the scene. You want to talk to him again? You got to come up with a good reason. Sheriff Mobley hates it when we harass the locals. It costs him votes. Okay, so we're going to have to pass him this, this, this. You say this Rogers was slotted to meet Kylie just before her murder? Don't need any more justification than that. We'll bring the boy right in. And yet we appreciate whole... you cooperating Ugh. with us, Mr. Rogers. 
Cut the BS. You have a warrant. What do you want? So I can't use that. Um, what was your relationship with Kylie? Kylie? Oh yeah, sure. The showgirl. I know who you mean. Know her? How? We were just, you know, friendly acquaintances. We'd get together, hang out, party a little. <laughs> nice kid. Sweet. Not hard, like some of the dancers. Everybody liked her. Somebody didn't like her. She was murdered tonight. Kylie? Oh, no, not Kylie. What kind of sick creep would hurt a nice kid like the... Hey, wait a minute. You're not... Now, you don't think I... No way. Never. I'm no saint, but I never killed no one. Check it out. So... That's what we'd reply. Well, of course we don't think you. Of course we don't think you killed her. It's just you're the last person. It's like based on her her calendar. You're the last person to have met her, so you're the obvious first. Um, you're obviously our primary lead at the moment, because apparently the hotel owner threatening her is, doesn't count as, as anything really. So when did you last see Kylie? Jeez, I don't really remember. You know how it is with social stuff. Two weeks maybe. Can I? No, I can't use evidence against them. Do you have any cuts or scratches you're not telling us about? I got a few cuts and stuff. Since when is that a crime? It isn't. But it might prove that you committed one. Aha! Uh, did you know that Kylie had hepatitis C? Well, I do now. And I ain't too happy about having to get myself checked, either. Right. Knows Kylie had hepatitis may have contracted it as well. Um, had an appointment with the victim on night of death. Knew Kylie quite well. Has unexplained scratches on him. <sighs> right. So I can't do anything else, can I? Yeah. Unless I can... Can I... No. What was I going to... That one. No, I can't use evidence against him. Cause I'm guessing that's him. Stupid white boxes. We've not even picked any more evidence up, so there's Hey guys, here. what's up? DNA! On wave. Examine DNA, that's very useful. Applications, let's go back Need to me rats. for something? Look, we questioned him at the scene. You want to talk to him again, you got to come up with a good reason. Sheriff okay. Mobley hates it when we harass the locals. It costs him votes. So we can't just bother him. There isn't much more I can tell you about the victim at this time. Should we be giving him that? No. Let's go back to the hotel. We have missed something. Hey, that's all I got to say right now. Have I? Let's check that TV for prints, too. Hotel room like this, we may have to sort through dozens, but the right one may be waiting. Right, so I have missed something. There we go. That looks like a very good one. I, I hope. Full print. Woot. And if it's his, it's, that's no use whatsoever. Yes? I were you? Yep. I'd scan those prints into the computer over there and run a search for any known suspects. Right, good to know. Search. Match Our match. hotel owner doesn't exactly have a squeaky clean background, although 10 Ooh. years can change a person. Yeah, it's not overly. So this is set in 2002 then. But it's not overly useful because, I mean, that's nothing to really go on. And he has a fingerprint on in uh, in his uh, in one of his hotel rooms. Yes. Can I get a warrant for a sample DNA sample from the hotel? Owner? Okay, this clown lied to us about how well he knew the young woman. Sure, he has legit access to the room, but any way you slice it, I can find a judge who'll give us a warrant. 
It's a okay, good way. It, just for a change know. of pace. Let's try the truth this yeah. time. You got no right taking that tone. I'm cooperating, ain't I? I told you before, I got nothing to do with this mess. Um... Yeah, so what, why did you call Kylie? Why were you on her answering machine? So I knew the girl. Big friggin' whoop. The showgirl. Usually quiet, but she lost it last month. Went all rock act on me, busted up a TV. 300 big ones to replace that sucker. Kid keeps promising to pay me back and nothing. Hell, I wouldn't whack a kid over trivial crap like that. What'd he take me for? That was why the TV was on. Nonetheless, Mr. Sustin, Kylie is dead. Murdered in your hotel. That's why the TV was on, wasn't it? That was it was a, a message, as it were. Can we take a reference DNA sample? Was that a warrant? What the hell is this? I didn't do anything a to warrant. that poor kid. Take your sample and get out of my life already. Thanks. We will. Our intern here is going to swab some epithelial cells from your mouth and take a hair sample with tweezers. But I'm an intern? Right, um no, um, collection. Why? This your first night, and I'm your guinea pig? Oh, okay. Thought I might have missed or something. So, we now go to the lab. Can I start comparing DNA Hey guys, now? what's up? Okay, good. We've got a DNA reference sample from the hotel owner. This is begging for a comparison. So, I ran the hotel owner's sample against the blood swab from the bathroom. Well, we have a winner. Hotel owner's DNA matches the blood from the bathroom. Only okay. since Mr. Sustin owns and operates the hotel, this may not mean much, if anything. Yes, now, I knew you'd be asking for a comparison between the skin DNA and the hotel owners, so I Thank went you. for it. But, no luck. It's not oh. the same. Someone else left some obvious signs of their presence on your victim. Oh, flippin' heck. Right. TV fingerprint belongs to him, so... That's not good enough. That's not good enough. That... I, I need to... It's... Uh, talk it over with the other guy. Okay, so I don't compare DNA. That's good to know. I was a bit worried about that. Let's yes. go back. Can you bring in Devin Rogers He's there again? as we speak. Go right in. There's nothing else I can tell you right now. Ugh. Okay, so let's go back. Need me for something? Go back to the hotel. Ah, uh, yeah, well, you have something here. This rap sheet gives us plenty of excuse to talk to this charmer again. I'll have him hauled right in. Okay. Uh, why didn't you tell us about your hit criminal history? Because it's not a crime. I suppose you never made a mistake. I paid for my thrills. I'm a businessman now. Strictly legit. Exactly. Uh, do you have any cuts or scratches you're not telling us about? Listen, my place ain't the Ritz, okay? Get the odd rough crowd so I take my share of bumps and nicks. Comes with the territory. Why was your blood in the hotel bathroom? Last rocket scientist to book that room busted the mirror. And guess who cut himself cleaning up the damn mess? I bled on the sink and the new mirror. Then I cleaned up after myself. After all that work, I turned on the tube and watched the news. Work for you? Fits the evidence. Yeah. So I don't like the fact that it's like, oh, claims this, claims that. There isn't much more I can tell you about the victim at this time. Yeah, I didn't think so. I'm guessing that means that I've got everything I can out of it. This, I want to have people... I want fingerprints or hair. Let's go back through everything. You've been released. For some reason. The blood was there. Missed anything? I find it interesting how in this scene he's all right, but in another scene he's all white. Hey, hey. 
I'm afraid I don't have anything else to tell you. Okay. Kylie's apartment. Coat, bicycle. I mean, at this point, it's... What do I look for? Anything else? Yeah, I don't think there's anything more to get from there. Cupboards. Books. Nope. Is there anything else on the computer we can have a look at? Ah, so it's just this one. Yeah. Nothing else from that page. From the computer. So I'm kind of at a bit of a loss. Maybe I should be thinking about what evidence I've currently got. So, what evidence have I not resolved? Yeah, it's something to do with Rogers at 10. And then these. So I'm guessing if they've got this this symbol, it means I've resolved it all. So... I'm not going to get anything more from the morgue at the moment, so... What do you need? Oh, I need the evidence tab. Right. Oh, of course. This is the remote. Okay. It's worth a try. So there's no match there. Didn't think there'd be, but it was worth a try. Um, what can I do for you? Can I throw evidence at you? Guessing the answer is no. He's there Don't as we just... speak. Go right in. There's nothing else I can tell you right now. Okay, can I throw that at him? Cannot talk to him about anything. Yes. Sure, I can him. do that. We've already got one. Our intern here is going to swab some epithelial cells from your mouth and take a hair sample with tweezers. Ah. Hey, go easy with that thing, will you? So that's all we need. I didn't do that. Okay. Yes? So, yeah, so it's just this, so that goes in. And Doesn't look like these hairs match. No, so he's in the clear. Uh, does not match the hair sample taken from Bart's system. Didn't think it would. And I've got no reason. What can I do for you? Can you bring he's there as we speak. Go can we right say in. something to him? Grab his There's DNA nothing else stuff. I can tell you right now. Okay. I'm stumped. Wait, 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 wait. Can I go back? Hey guys, ah. what's up? I don't need to compare. I don't need to compare these with other things. I compare them with this. So they don't match um, Sustin. Yeah, so that's his rap sheet. What can I do for you? Yeah, let's get some help. How can I learn more about Devin Rogers? Ah. Drag the print out of Kylie's schedule on the search screen of our lab computer and run a search. See what comes up. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I don't know what this would get, but I oh, just such names. Devin, Ooh. the last person in our victim's date book has a criminal record. Some recent temper control problems. Let's file that in our suspicious folder. Okay. Brown, brown, eleven. Foot size eleven. So this year, assault and released. Say. 
compare the uh... the devil's in the details mm -hmm. and it looks like we've implicated this devil okay now let's try let's try these together or not All right so I'm guessing that's hers so now we go yes challenge him with that learned it Ooh, have you learned anything new about the victim yeah the files tell an interesting story about her Seems she reported a stalker just six months ago. I'd like to tell you we busted the bum, but I'd be lying. And my gut says it's no coincidence she's on a silver tray now. Mmm. Six months. Ah, I didn't say how long ago it was. Can we get a warrant for a DNA sample from Devin Rogers? Partial print places him at the scene. Nice. On its own, that might not cut it, but add that to his name popping up so prominently on the Vic schedule? Oh yeah. Consider the warrant issued. Brilliant. Uh, we have evidence that you saw Kylie recently. All oh, right, okay, I won't lie to you. I saw her. I saw her tonight. Where? Hotel, way down the strip. Champagne Hotel, I think. Right, so that's right. Just to clear you, could we take a reference DNA sample? What for? I got a right to know what you want it for, don't I? I mean, I didn't kill her or anything. But why should I help you guys entrap me? Mr. Rogers, the DNA sample can help clear you. We're trying Precisely. to eliminate suspects from our list. Exactly. We have a warrant, sir. You can give it to us, or we can take it. Fine. Our intern here is going to swab some epithelial cells from your mouth and take a hair sample with tweezers. I forgot to do that last time, so I need to remember that. Swap. Couldn't you have been a bit gentler with that thing? No. I probably poked him in the wrong area, but whatever. Ow! Take it easy. Maybe I just don't like him. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So, that's interesting. So, head back to the lab. It's gonna yes? The skin. It's going to ram the skin skulls, isn't it? Right. Well, let's. They look identical. Bingo. Strong likelihood our Mr. Rogers was in that hotel room around the time of the killing. And with the and with the rope, which we think is the murder weapon. So, yes. Go on. Tell the me DNA reference sample from Rogers. But the real story unfolds when I compare it against another sample. So I did a comparison. Tested the sink swab DNA with Rogers' sample. No luck. I guess that wasn't his blood in the sink. Yeah, now, know I that, thought right? a comparison between the Rogers blood DNA and the skin from the fingernails would make sense. The result of my sweat and tears? Positive. Jackpot. Mr. Devin Rogers co-starred in a scrappy little show with our victim. I think that's it. Gone through all our evidence? We have now. So, I think yes. that's it. Can you bring in Devin Rogers for an interrogation? He's there as we speak. Go right in. Why was your skin? Why, why was your skin was under grammar, people? Why was your skin under Kylie's nails? Was? <laughs> yeah, I can see that. She liked it rough. Clawed my arm just to get a rise. Now, tell me if this sounds familiar, Mr. Rogers. The day Kylie returned from getting her sobering diagnosis, she did the right thing. She called anyone that she'd had sexual contact with. You asked to meet her at the hotel to talk about it, but your anger came out when she arrived. Kylie scratched you, defending herself, so you forcibly tied her to the bedpost and blindfolded her. The mm. walls in that hotel are paper thin, so you turned up the volume on the television using the remote, which you then pitched to the floor. You tore a strip from the bed sheet, which was when a hair from your head fell into the folds. Then you wrapped the sheet around the woman's throat and finished her off. Your revenge taken, you left, but not before leaving a little tip. Sounds like a conviction. Make up all the stories you want. They're bull. Start to finish. Find yourself some other sucker. In your mind, that young woman killed you. So you killed her. That ain't what happened. She was alive when I left her. I swear it. We'll let a jury decide that. But the evidence says otherwise. It never ends. You did a good job on this case. You found a suspect that meets the requirements for means, motive, and opportunity. That's all we can do. The rest we leave up to the district attorney. Now, let's do your evaluation. 
I've expected all of it. Hmm. But asking for help costs you in your final evaluation. See if you can do as well without using any hints. Yeah, so it's my best one. Ooh. Six out of ten extras. So it's just uh, concept art, eh? So that's not really something to aspire to, but I'm going to try and avoid using hints. So that was the first one. In and out. Um, and I think I will stop recording there. And I'm going to see if I can fiddle with the graphics, see if there's some solution on, on Tinternet. Um, so that was the first one. Thanks for watching.